I think that it's, it's a lot easier not to think about the questions that everything at once wants to ask. And what I hope is that we have the chance in here or surrounding the sculpture to ask ourselves and to ask others um, what we think about uh, the U.S.'s position in the world and our position as people who live here. We have uh, less and less funding going towards public schools and more and more going towards military infrastructure. So part of the idea with the materials was to um, both talk about how things that have a potentially violent history and a public history could come together and be transformed into something new. And it's on a built on a military trailer that was used in Afghanistan and came back to the United States. It's a eight foot by 14 foot trailer uh, with charred wood from a public school in Wisconsin that was being demolished. And so I heard about it and was able to save the wood and have it shipped to a place where they could char it. The charring is really useful because it's a way to um, preserve wood. So as a viewer or a participant, I think it's, it really is about the experience of coming into the trailer. So you'll walk up stairs, you'll enter into a dark room, and then you'll open two doors and you'll be in a very, in, in a room that's open to the sky. And you'll be able to see the sky and also a uh, reflection pool. What I'd like to ask is what can happen when uh, people get together and think about this together. So I think that that can happen through collaborative sculpture. And, and that's what, in a sense, this is, and that's what I hope this conversation can become, is a collaborative sculpture. I think uh, what we can do with art is really transformative. I think it does open up potentials for new futures. It has a lot to do with social change and how we can work together for social change through thinking about things abstractly and creatively and um, transformatively.